the target. <laughs> All right, so those Firebirds are nice and potent today. Well, fellas, this is a cool one. This is the Archon Gen 2 Type B by PTR. There's a mouthful. It is quite unique. You know, I like unique guns, and this one has a lot of unique features. And I dare say, I don't have any guns in my collection that has two of the main features that this boasts of. And so we're going to get into that today. But first, we have to thank our sponsor, and that is Kerr Ammo. It's a family-owned and operated shop in Texas. And so I'm in Texas. So I was like, I want to buy ammo for this video. And I did. I bought me a thousand round case of this Norma. And you know what? It showed up next day. Because it's a smaller company, if you are out of state, you get to skip out on that sales tax. And also, it's free shipping on orders over $199. So when you put all those things together, it's a great value. You get great customer service. And if you use my promo code TOPSHOT5, like F-I-V-E, you will get $5 off your first order if it's $150 or more. They provide ammunition for freedom-loving Americans. Now let's get into this PTR. Dude, that was awesome when that fell over though. <laughs> so this Archon Gen 2 Type B, I am not even familiar with Gen 1. I'm going to be honest with you, but I know what they said was the cool new thing about the Type 2, the Type B, this Gen 2, and it's this adaptable grip system. And it's not just like you change the back straps. No, it has a whole bag of parts that it came with that you have several different magazine well extensions and then several different back straps as well for a palm size as well as grip overall. So that means we kind of have, we have like a compact gun here. Now this is just like the full size uh, package and it fits my hand well, so I'm happy with it, but it can actually extend out even further because, okay, this holds the 15 rounder just fine and dandy, but this in the 17 round mag sticks out awkwardly. Well, it's got back strap and grip extensions that will fill all that void. Now I didn't see, it didn't come with any magazines that were shorter, but I am sure they're available because we can take this grip section in this magwell and make it even shorter so it's a nice compact carry as well. So that's what's cool about the Type B, this Gen 2. Now, what made this the Archon in the first place, though, is this AF speed lock barrel system. Like 95% of modern firearms have a tilting barrel unlocking mechanism in it. So when, when the gun fires and cycles, it has to do something about that barrel, and usually it tilts. And so you'll see that's why we have to have pistons on suppressors and such. Not only does it go back, it'll tilt up. This isn't tilting. It's unlocked right now, and it doesn't tilt. It's because it only moves forward and back just a little little bit. And so what's cool about that is when you have a system like that, we can make a lower bore, well we we have a lower bore axis and so now we'll have a reduced felt recoil, we'll have minimum muzzle rise and you'll be able to have faster target acquisition because it shouldn't it's not as high in your grip and so just physics apply and we can hold it on target better. So those are the two really unique things about it and then something else, you may the the shape of it's a little different up here because it has this deep serrations. What that actually is, is a press check grip for your thumb. At least that's what the marketing department said. So it's kind of cool. So you can be all John Wick about it. This one is RMR footprint, but they also have a slide for the RMSC as well as the Acro. And honestly, the Acro looks pretty cool, but we have the RMR on this today. The trigger looks great. It feels great on the finger. But what was weird about it is it kind of has a three-stage pull where we have a little bit of creep and then a little bit more and then it breaks but without really a solid wall. It's not my favorite. We can work with it and it only measured at four and a half pounds so it's not too heavy but it is a little different and I just wish it had a solid wall there. The triple stage mush is just a little bit you got to get used to it. So that's about all the talking points about it, guys. Uh, let's shut up and shoot. We're going to start off with an accuracy test. This is that 124 gram Norma from Kerr Ammo. Uh, we'll just go for that dot, put five rounds in, 10 yards. It's all in the dot. It's pretty good. I tell you what, I, I, I want to see if I can do any better. We're going on the right side now. Now there's a group I like, because it looks like one hole. Let's go see. And we got a nice little one hole group from 10 yards. So uh, accurate enough, working with that trigger just fine. But what I really want to do is see if about this low bore axis claim. To be honest, I just grab a gun and shoot. I don't care what the gun is. I've used high points before. But 
I, I, so I have a hard time personally seeing, oh wow, low recoil because of the design. And, and to make sure we're not going, uh, falling for hype, let's put it on a high speed camera and then just we'll bring up one another gun out and shoot side by side, see what they look like. So we put it into the long grip module because I figured, well, if you're using it for competition and muzzle flip was really an issue, we want to go ahead and have that, especially when we're testing something for muzzle flip. And I was wrong because when I shot this side by side, this Canic here, and I said, ah, I'm not really able to tell. No, when I did it side by side enough, I could totally tell that this Archon Type B was shooting quite smooth. It was just kind of sleek, if a word comes to mind. I grabbed this Canic SFX because this has been my go-to pistol lately. Full-size pistol, this is what I go to. Why? Because I like the trigger. It's got a great one with a nice, crisp, clean wall. And it just felt sloppy in comparison to the Type B. I didn't expect it, but I'm quite pleased to see that because you don't want to, you know, pay for some AF speed lock and it just be some marketing jargon. That was impressive and I did like the results. So we threw on suppressors to let you see what a piston actually does. And again, it felt just sleeker and smoother shooting out of the Archon Type B. Now, I didn't explain this too much earlier, but when you have just a, a barrel that just slides back and forth to unlock instead of tilting like this Canic does, so we can see how that sloppy tilting and how it's now out of alignment, and as it goes back down, into a slide lock, it falls into place. This Archon doesn't do that. It just moves back and forth just a little bit and it stays put. So that means that you might be able to shoot it with one without a piston. This is the GSL Cholito suppressor that I've had trouble shooting on most guns, but it had zero trouble out of this Archon Type B. This GSL Cholito is small and it's light, but it's loud. I like to shoot it wet, so I put a little bit of wire pulling gel in it, but like I said, it hasn't worked with a lot of guns, works just fine with this Archon Type B. We'll put five rounds out. I told you it was loud. So it's more like a realistic defensive purpose uh, type setup. Um, you, you could conceal carry it if you want. For me, it was more of a hunting gun, not that I'm hunting with it, but if you had to dispatch something that had been wounded, it would be something that's not too loud and you know you could do that with. So that is, of course, an advantage of this AF lock system. However, it doesn't work with everything perfectly. We're gonna put this AB suppressors, uh, this is the F4L Raptor, and it's made for a carbine, so it's not really made. It's really nice and quiet too, but there's no piston on it. The uh, but it just weighs a little too much to run with this. We have had some tuned guns like a Beretta. You can see that short where it runs great on that, but this is just a stock gun. And I also will point out there is this weird like three stage. A recoil spring in this gun so it probably could be tuned but when i first disassembled it we're used to you know a single spring on full-size guns a dual spring on compact guns but when i found this triple spring i'm like weird here we go though it probably won't run this is a 147 grain aac See, I told you, it doesn't run at all. Okay, that was impressive. It didn't run earlier. I guess we're breaking the thing in. That makes me happy. I'm gonna have to, uh... oh man, that's cool setup. All right, I was, I was wrong and I'm glad I was wrong. So I guess that's really all there is to it, guys. This is a neat and unique firearm. Now, um, I'm not gonna talk prices because YouTube doesn't like that, but you can go check it out on their websites, on PTR's website. Uh, it is German made. It's got the German import marks on it and it looks, feels real quality. And yes, that low bore axis really is an advantage and all the cool grip adapters that's a neat thing too to have it all in one package right out of the box so what do you think guys leave a comment thanks for watching okay i love you bye bye